allow me to introduce you to the gracious colonial city of Oaxaca, Mexico, known for its easy-going way of life, fantastic food, eternal spring weather, important archaeological sites, diversity of peoples and languages, warm hospitality, and its vibrant artistic communities. This delightful city will host a new Worcester Academy Summer Language and Culture Institute, giving students a window on a fascinatingly different culture and opportunity to rapidly improve their language skills. Located in the south of the country, the state of Oaxaca is Mexico's fourth largest in size. But as the locals like to tell it, Oaxaca would easily be the largest if you simply ironed it flat. The two great mountain ranges of the country meet in Oaxaca, and consequently nearly 80% of the state is mountainous and sparsely populated. Nestled in a valley at an altitude of about 5,000 feet, we find Oaxaca de Juarez, the capital and largest city with about a half million inhabitants. Thanks to its altitude, the city enjoys a spring-like climate with daytime temperatures in the low 80s during much of the year. Nights dip to the mid-70s, and although the rainy season runs through the summer, rainy season really only means a sporadic and refreshing afternoon shower of short duration, which brings the countryside to life and nourishes a rich variety of flora. Some of the best preserved colonial buildings and architecture in the entire country can be found in Oaxaca. Within easy walking distance, one can find almost 20 buildings from the colonial period made out of the local limestone. In fact, the entire historic center has been placed on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. The heart of the city and center of action is the vibrant Zocalo, or Central Plaza, where locals and tourists alike come to stroll, dine, and be entertained by the constant public performances and festivities. Perhaps the crown jewel of the colonial buildings is the ex-convent of Santo Domingo, up a short pedestrian-only street from the center. Santo Domingo is home to one of the most ornately decorated churches in the Americas. The rest of the complex houses a Smithsonian-like historical and cultural museum, which takes almost the entire afternoon to see. Of all the things that make Oaxaca unique, its food may be the most famous. It is said that some Oaxacans living in the United States will fed X and food directly from Oaxaca for special occasions because the flavor cannot be replicated elsewhere. But don't expect to find the so-called Mexican food items common on menus in the U.S., such as burritos and quesadillas. Instead, you can choose from a wide variety of local delicacies, such as the ubiquitous roasted grasshoppers called chapulines, pumpkin flower soup, and the rich moles and sauces of the region. You can try something new every day, and you can be sure that the ingredients come fresh from one of the exuberant local markets. Though there is plenty to do and see in the city itself, the offerings of the surrounding towns are also spectacular. Tule is home to the world's fattest tree, a 2,000-year-old Sabino. In Yerbe el Agua, you can see the odd sight of a petrified waterfall that seems to have frozen in place. Teotitlan del Valle is the center of the artisan weaving community, where you can see how they create masterful rugs out of nothing more than wool, natural colors, and much hard work. Visit nearby Arrasola, known for its brightly colored alebrijes, fancifully carved animal figures. Not far away is Coyotepec, where you can see how they create the famous black pottery by hand rubbing quartz on the clay and burnishing its surface. Some of Mexico's most important pre-Columbian sites are nearby as well. The massive structure of Monte Alban boggles the mind as you contemplate what it must have looked like covered in brightly colored stucco or the site of the epic games played at the ball court. Visiting the Tianguis or indigenous markets makes for an unforgettable experience and fun shopping trip all in one. Puerto Escondido with its internationally recognized surfing awaits the beach crowd on the coast several hours away. Outdoorsy types may want to make a trip into the mountains for an eco-adventure of hiking and mountain bike riding. The Worcester Academy program is a unique educational experience designed to improve each student's communicative ability in the language and to help him or her adapt to a new cultural setting. 
skills that are increasingly necessary in the global world in which we live. During the three-week stay in Oaxaca, students will live with experienced host families and attend daily language and culture classes in the morning hosted by the highly regarded Bekari Language School. With a maximum class size of five, in this intensive setting students can make astonishingly rapid progress. We are also working closely with Bekari to tailor their program to our departmental standards and benchmarks. Therefore, students may have the ability to advance more quickly in the Worcester Academy language sequence commensurate with their demonstrated mastery. Our afternoons will include a group lunch at a nearby typical restaurant, followed by a revolving program of volunteer work, local excursions, and cooking, dance, and art classes, as well as other spontaneous activities. Through their involvement in the program, students will be able to earn approximately 30 hours of community service credit, nearly half of their career total. One weekend, we will make our way to Puerto Escondido to relax and try our hand at surfing. The other, there will be a number of different excursions to choose from. The program is open to all students at Worcester Academy, and limited financial aid is available. También quería compartirles un poco, ya que saben algo de Oaxaca, compartirles un poco acerca de Becari. Bueno, Becari es una escuela que tiene casi 17 años de haberse fundado. La fundamos dos, dos personas, dos profesoras, y estamos muy contentas y muy orgullosas de, de, de ya llevar tanto tiempo. Una de las características de Becari es que eh, es una escuela todavía de un tamaño mediano. Contamos con 17 salones y con un máximo de cinco estudiantes siempre por aula. Esto nos permite darle a los estudiantes un trato personal. Si tienen necesidades específicas o, o eh, preguntas eh, a cualquier hora, siempre va a haber alguien que nos atienda, porque tenemos, al, al mismo tiempo, por el tamaño, tenemos el tiempo y la capacidad de atender a todos. Bueno, nuestros profesores, los profesores todos tienen una licenciatura en la enseñanza de un segundo idioma, entonces todos están preparados para enseñar el español así como el inglés, entonces todos son bilingües y algunos hasta trilingües porque hablan alemán o algo de japonés, entonces son personas que tienen una experiencia y una calidad profesional. Eh, nuestras clases se caracterizan porque dividimos los programas siempre en dos sesiones, una parte es la gramática y otra parte es la conversación y cada sesión es con un profesor diferente. Esto eh, nosotros siempre hemos creído que es algo importante porque los estudiantes escuchan diferentes voces y no se acostumbran solamente a una persona. Eh, es, es algo también que, que los, los mismos estudiantes van solicitando. Y bueno, nosotros cada jueves les entregamos a, a, a los estudiantes un cuestionario donde ellos nos pueden evaluar como, como escuela y al mismo tiempo a las familias. La mayoría de los estudiantes que vienen a aprender nuestro bello idioma se hospedan con una familia para poder lograr por completo su objetivo. ¿no? Al interactuar con ellos, pues es una extensión de lo que aprenden en las aulas de Becari porque cuando las familias practican el idioma, aprenden cómo viven las familias mexicanas, cómo es la cultura y también la comida, no, no solo en los restaurantes, sino cómo comen las familias, qué es lo que les gusta hacer, etc. ¿no? y participar de su cultura. Eh, eh, bueno, otra parte importante, como mencionábamos primero, son todos las, los sitios culturales o históricos que tenemos en Oaxaca. ¿no? Entonces, para nosotros es muy como becari, como una escuela de español, como segundo idioma, es muy importante que todos los estudiantes puedan cumplir su objetivo. Y tenemos muy claro que para cumplirlo es muy importante una inversión. Entonces, es un conjunto de las clases de español en la escuela, todos los, pues, la historia, la cultura en las calles, en los museos, etcétera, y las familias. ¿no? Todo es un conjunto.